When you see them Creole girl, boy, they love their baka now. I mean, they move them hips in a funny way. In 1962, Louise Jelks, a black Broadway performer, beguiled Joe Fouts, a bushy-haired art student, when her African dance troupe was sketched by his drawing class at Brooklyn's Pratt Institute. Bum, biddy, bum, biddy, bum, biddy, bum. And then my parents... Were, at first, uh, their families frowned upon their mixed-race relationship. You know, this is a time when black people and white people don't mix, you know, really don't mix in the 60s. Oh, they were really, and, uh, they were really against it. Come after me with a shotgun. No. <laughs> Fouts from Georgia was afraid to tell his mother. She found out after seven years that I was married to a black woman. And, um, I'm not black. And then, I, have a, uh, I have color to my skin, <laughs> but I'm not black. Fortunately, they chose a profession where your eye for color mattered more than the color of your skin. In the posh days of the New York City fashion world of the 60s and 70s, designer clothes created by Fouts Jilts were in the windows of Bloomingdale's, on the glossy pages of fashion magazines, adorning brides and their bridesmaids at high society weddings, and covering mannequins at Madison Avenue boutiques. Our work was always kind of the thing that buyers would buy just to put in the window so they would draw people out of their cars into the shop. Jazz legend Nina Simone gave concerts and custom-designed Falks Jilts dresses. It never stopped because once we'd finish somebody and somebody would see something, they would send somebody, somebody else. else. It just kept rolling and rolling and rolling. So after many years of being stuck in a sewing room in their Manhattan loft, Joe and Louise decided to make a change. In the 80s, the couple moved to Mountaindale in Sullivan County, where they opened up a Madison Avenue-style dress shop and produced clothes for some of the old Borscht Belt hotel owners. Their most recent venture is the Variety Show Antique Store on Front Street in Port Jervis. One night when the moon was so mellow. Today, in their 70s, they still collaborate on creative projects. Much interest in the back of yeah. This Kentucky Derby style hat, made from a collection of old decorative items, will join some of their other creations at the Blue Stone Gallery in Milford, Pennsylvania. Oh. They need some height. They live together, they work together, they design together. How do they keep from killing each other? Even Bendel's asked us that question, and Louise said, well, I, I usually put on a, a yellow rose and Louise takes it off. <laughs> <laughs> this month, Louise and Joe celebrate 42 years together. They encourage young people to follow their artistic dreams. That's what's kept this pair inspired and in love for so long. In Port Jervis, Stephen Sacco, Record Online. And now they